interactive dashboard is a highly customizable workspace where you control what information you need to see to be effective in your job. Here you can see that I've logged on into Sage CRM and I happen to be using an install of Sage CRM that's been loaded with demo data. We can see here the default welcome dashboard that contains gadgets that display custom web pages that display different types of data. But as you can see, users can be assigned other dashboards that have either been created for them or they can themselves go ahead and create new dashboards that they can see and switch backwards and forwards between. Now I've just switched to a sales dashboard. This dashboard contains a set of gadgets each displaying different types of data. Just on the first row we have a list gadget, a calendar gadget and a chart gadget. The gadgets interact with one another and some have features that allow a user to work directly within the dashboard rather than having to go to another part of the system. For example, if I just click the workflow button in the list gadget displaying opportunities on the left of the screen, watch what happens to the chart. The opportunity in the list was at the workflow stage qualified, so now I'll click to confirm that I've sent a quote to the contact. I can confirm the details within the opportunity screen and save, and we can now see that we're returned to the dashboard, and we can also see that the chart is redrawn, showing that the dashboard draws its information from live data. Dashboards are very flexible in the layout, and I want to switch to a different one. Uh, we can see that uh, here the dashboards can be arranged in any way that a user needs. Dashboards are not just uh, used in the MyCRM context, but they're also used in the company context. So if I switch over to a company, we can see that we've come straight into a dashboard for this company. And it's possible for a user to create their own company dashboards, just as it's possible to create their own main dashboard. Now the use of the company dashboards is set within preferences. As you can see, this user has set their preferences to use the interactive dashboard as the default screen for a company. I'll just return to the dashboard. And now I can look at the options that the user has. And so I'm going to select the dashboard options. And this screen allows me to set a default. I can click OK. And this dashboard showing key performance indicator data for a sales manager has now become the user's default dashboard. Susan May has been given some administration rights. She's the type of uh, user called a, uh, an info manager. It's a sort of super user. You can see that she has the possibility of not only creating a new dashboard for herself, but she can also create a template dashboard that can be shared with other users. She can create templates uh, that are, um, for example, uh, S-Data feeds. Uh, and these are feeds that can accept RESTful web services provided in S-Data format by certain Sage accounting products. And she can also create complete dashboards as templates that can then be assigned to other users. And she can also create templates for gadgets that can be then included in dashboards that the users create for themselves. Now we're going to look at templates in other lessons. Instead, I want to start creating a new dashboard for myself. So I've opened up the new dashboard menu. And here you can see that I have the choice of either creating a template laid out in a fixed grid or with a flexible layout. And I'm going to use the flexible layout and I have to give the dashboard a name. A user can then choose the template gadgets to include in the dashboard. The template gadget represents a, a standard library of useful gadgets uh, that's designed to, well, everything from designs that include charts to bringing in data from external third-party applications. So I've just uh, made a selection, and this happens to be a very simple RSS feed that I'm including here, and the gadget appears within the dashboard. Now this is a flexible layout of dashboards, so I can drag the gadget to where I want, uh, or I can resize it using the little control at the bottom right of the gadget. And if I click on the close icon, the little X on the top right of the gadget, I can remove it. And I can confirm the gadget's removal. And now I can start thinking about adding different gadgets of my own choosing. So I need to choose new gadget. And now I can create a gadget or select a template gadget from the library. This is the same choice. If I went with the uh, template gadget from the library, then this would be the same choice as before when I started to create the dashboard. So I'll look instead at starting to create my own gadget. And we can see that there's an inbuilt library of 12 
gadget types. But there's going to be, or there are, e-learning lessons that cover how each of the different gadgets are used with inside the interactive dashboard.